Welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson and I'm at Aquamedic Live and we are going to talk about what I feel like are some of the most underrated corals in the hobby. And that's Vietnam zoanthids. These guys are crazy bright and crazy cool. But before we get to that, I want to take a minute and talk about something else that's really cool that's happened. If you'll notice at the bottom of the screen, there's a new Mile High Reefers logo. And Robert Farnsworth of Marine Depot put that together for me. So I really appreciate him doing that. That was really cool. So if you're not following Robert Farnsworth on Marine Depot's YouTube channel, follow them. And if you're not shopping at Marine Depot, check them out. They are a really cool site. And I've been buying from them since the mid 2000s. So back to the zoanthids. Vietnam zoanthids, as the name implies, are zoanthids from Vietnam. Now you're probably not real familiar with Vietnam corals. Well, Vietnam ships out a lot of zoanthids, a lot of mushrooms, and a lot of leathers. They're soft coral only, which is why we don't hear about them as much as Australia. But there's some really cool stuff coming out of there. Now, the first thing that shocked me about Vietnam corals when I first opened the bag is when they're shipped from Vietnam, there is almost no water in the bag. They come basically damp with a piece of plastic around it in the bag. And it turns out after a lot of testing, this is the best way to get these corals to the wholesaler. So beyond the fact that these guys come in without a lot of water, they're pretty dirty. They're literally dirty. There's like dirt on them and we got to clean them off. So we have a pretty extensive cleaning process that we go through. So we dip these guys heavily and they do come with a lot of hitchhikers. So bristle worms and crabs and shrimp and all kinds of weird little invertebrates come in here. We even find feather duster worms and anemones and all kinds of weird things. It's actually a lot of fun to find this stuff. The one thing that you would probably expect to see a lot of are the zoanthid eating nudibranchs. And to be honest, I've never seen one. In my entire time with importing Vietnam zoanthids, I am yet to see one come in, which blows me away. I thought they were gonna be a problem and they just aren't so far. So that's really cool. So we dip these guys, we get them super clean, at least as best as we can, and then they have to cure. So they go into this big tank, which is all for zoanthids. That's all we use. And once they come in, they have a real risk of getting this fungusy film all over them. And that fungusy film smothers the, the zoanthid and kills it. So we gotta come in and we gotta cl clean them off every day. And I'm actually here on Saturday, which should be my day off, but I'm here taking care of my zoanthids. So we got to come in, we got to make sure that we take care of these. We got to do big water changes on this tank because early on, if we're not careful, there can be a lot of die off. Plus we have lots of zoanthids in here. So we have the potential of palytoxins. So we're also running lots of carbon in this tank. So lots of carbon, lots of water changes. And to help with that fungusy film, we're running a ton of water flow. You don't, we don't have it on right now for this video, but usually there is a ton of through this tank. So after about a week, if we do our job right, we will save the majority of the coral, probably 95 to 100% of it. And we have amazing coral and ready for your tank. But it does take a week or two to fully cure these before they're ready to sell. They are fairly inexpensive to buy, but they're an incredible amount of work to get ready for sale. Now, when it comes to sales, you are going to find these guys everywhere. You're going to find them as little frag plugs all the way up to big six or seven inch colonies. Personally, I love the huge colonies. You can find so much different stuff. Also on here, you're going to find a lot of your named corals, like your dragon eyes, your watermelons, your fire and ice, those kind of common names. But if you look around, in these colonies, you can find some really cool stuff. My favorite are the morphs. These are standard zoas that have just kind of changed in colors and they can start getting these incredible coloration to them and they are amazing. So if you're looking for some coral that's really bright, really colorful and more at a budget price, check out Vietnam zoanthids. 
You should be able to find these at pretty much any local store. And if your local store doesn't carry them, tell them to get a hold of Aquamedic Live. We'll be able to ship them out to them. Dad, you should take me to Vietnam so I can see these corals in the ocean. Thanks for watching this episode of Mile High Reefers. Like, comment, subscribe. See you on the next one. Peace.